mighty rare. Looks like we got ourselves even more guests. Welcome y'all to Norman Island. Y'all must be right tuckered out from all that traveling. Why don't you take a load off, sit for a spell and have a snack? Wait, did you say Norman Island? You heard right. This island is homeland for all us Norman. It's good to be back. I haven't been here for at least 1,500 years. Oh, It's you, Grimoire! How you been? It's good to see you! And you. If you guys knew what this place was all along, why didn't you say something sooner? Well, Aizen just sounded so cool talking about venturing into the unknown and all that, so I didn't want to burst his bubble. Sometimes it's good to let someone dream, no matter how far-fetched said dream might actually be. <sighs> this island is way too good to be true, first mate. Ah, everything's so nice and laid back here. I could just relax like this for a thousand years. So, when people say this place absorbs power from all existence, this is what they meant? Well, they're not wrong, I guess. So, what should we do? Do you really think it's okay to mark this island on the map? Let's not. I got a feeling this might be one of those places that's best kept a secret. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, so much for Terror Island, I guess. Terror Island. I cannot believe it. Alright, I just remembered something. We- I always forget. We don't need every single cat's chest to fight dark turtles. But we're gonna get this last cat's chest while I'm here. There's some dialogue to do. You know what? I'm trying to think. Should we just- Yeah, we'll just do it now. I'm already here. I'm getting a bit tired of just lazing about on this island. It's boring here. How long have you been lazing about? Hmm, about a thousand years, I think. That is a long time to not do anything. Then again, it'd be terrible to have a mean old tyrant of a master, like what happened to Bienfu. Oh, can I just make a pact with a nice girl who will pamper me all day? If she was real pretty, I wouldn't even care if she liked making terrible puns. Um, I think you're setting yourself up for a letdown. Okay. I don't want anything to do with these freaks. Oh, there's a character card play? Oh, it's probably that stupid BM food. There's like a bounce BM food game and a Norman game. I don't care about those mini games. I hate both of them. Wow, I ain't seen people in forever. Not since Artorius and his bunch. You've met Artorius before? Met him? Boy, I tell you what, I've done way more than that. Once, we all went adventuring with Artorius and the king himself. If you can believe it. We traveled the world, purifying malevolence and spreading the blessings of Malakim. Wait, the king? Yes, ma'am. The one and only King Claudin, who ended the era of darkness. The hero king? How could someone from the distant past be traveling with Artorius? Between you and me, little lady, he used an oath to live about another 300 years. Heck, he was even the former head of the Exorcist. King Claudin was the head of the Exorcists? He held that post for a real long time, but then he met Artorius, who was an orphan. The king couldn't have been happier. He found an earnest pupil, a perfect candidate for his successor. But then, things took a mighty sad turn for the worse. What happened? All the other Norman who traveled with us are on their way to the place where Claudin died. The place known as Loringen. If you want to know more, you ought to ask them. It's hard to believe that King Claudin, the former head of the Exorcists, and Artorius's teacher were all the same person. It's not so unbelievable. Melchior was using the same oath. I'd even go a step further and say that Melchior was imitating Claudin to get in his inner circle. Hold on. You didn't happen to know Claudin, did you? Afraid not. I never met the man in person. But I knew he had enough quirks to really get the old geezer's goat sometimes. I mean, he gave up wealth and power to protect the world as an exorcist. The man lived for his work in the same way that a fish lives to swim in the sea. 
And Artorius is the one who took his place. For now, let's just focus on getting to Lorengan. Listen, Velvet. If nothing else, I think you should find the truth for your own sake. Yeah. I guess you're right. What is a side quest? Oh, hey! Refreshing conversation. Is that for watching skits a certain amount of time? It might be. That might be the skit trophy right there. Alright, so I guess we got another side quest in Lohengrin. Yeah, Arthur the Exorcist, more background. We'll do that after Heavenly Steps. I ran into Zavid a little bit ago. He had a kid, Malak, along with him. He said he saved the kid from a demon. Zavid has a soft spot for children. That's what I heard. It was freezing cold that night, but he gave his coat to the kid to wear. You should have seen it. He was naked from the waist up. But as cold a night as it was, Zavid had this big smile plastered on his face. He laughed and said, I don't mind the cold. Besides, what's a little cold wind to Zavid the whirlwind? Okay. What does this guy have the... It's a cat's. No, thank you. That's fishing. All right, where's this cat's chest? Hey, Bienfu. Ooh, it sure feels good to be home again, huh, Grim? Quite, but there's one problem. If I stay too long, I know I'm gonna put on weight. Oh, Grimoire. Where's my cat's chest? I just want my cat's chest already. There's another dialogue right here. Oh, hey, cat's chest. The final one. Fluffy Rolo. Cat's person. Did you hear? Phoenix found a new purpose, and he's real fired up about it. Will he be all right? You know how he can get a little too fixated on his ideas. I just hope he's with someone nice. Either way, I'm still worried. Phoenix has a habit of letting his excitement get the better of him. Should we go check in on him? I'm curious about what's going on in the human world, too. Yeah, good idea. I was getting bored of just sitting around here. Let's go. Then it's settled. Let's call everyone together and make it a big trip. What was that Norman doing right there? All right, two trophies in the span of five minutes. All right, so Drew and Mila aren't here. I'm not sure if we need to, like, come here now and what we're doing now matters. Uh, we're out of here. I'm just gonna leave. Let me go back to Helavis. Show me the side quest list. What's that, though? Hey, take me to Port Zexon. I want to see really quickly if that, if like, Renid might have the quest. Also, if I can go back manually to Terra Island, or do I have to go to the same ship every time? Yeah, no, Norman Island. Isle of Terror. Renid doesn't have it. I don't remember how you're supposed to get the Judah Mila thing to proc. Oh, is it right there? It might be. This might be it. I hope it is. Yeah, this is definitely it. Oh, woe and misfortune, meow. The harbinger of the end has come to Norman Island, meow. The harbinger of the end? What are you talking about? The harbinger of the end is said to deliver judgment upon the world, meow. If he judges us bad, he will destroy us all. If he judges us good, He'll grant a single wish, meow. That's rather binary. Sounds like a man of extremes. Not just extreme, but all-powerful, meow. Whatever you do, you'd better stay away from Norman Island. Uh, okay, just stop. Stop telling us not to do things. Yeah, it only makes us want to do it more. Okay, I believe Mercia, we have to do one more white turtle scene. Yeah, right there. We're gonna go do that really quick. We're gonna fight Dark Turtles right now, so we might go a little over an hour before we do Heavenly Steps. Which is still fine. Wait, this might not be what I want. Oh, no, it is perfect. Two wins and a loss. A new Mythic egg and rice omelet. 
Scout ships. By the way, Albane is a reference to that's Cress's last name from Fantasia, so that's a reference to Fantasia. Well, this is not the right way, or is it? All right, you need to go to Mercio's west entrance, I think. Yep, there we go. The fact that their island's shaped like a sweet, so I'm curious if they can eat it. Probably. It's like Sugar Rush from Wreck It Ralph. Is that what it's called? It's been a while since I watched that movie. Turtles, how's business? Not great, not great at all. Thanks to certain somebodies, my balances have all gone haywires. Serves me right for counting my turtles before they hatched. <sighs> that sounds awful, I guess. Don't feel bad, not like it's got anything to do with us. Certainly not. That's why today's your lucky day, because I'm throwing another big sales. Come on, guys, you're being too mean to him. He's done so much to help us throughout our journey, hasn't he? Yeah, I guess. Listen, Mr. Turtles. If something's ever got you down, you can tell us. I don't know how much help we can be, but I bet even just talking about it will make you feel better. <gasps> I can't tell you how nice it feels to hear such kind words at a time like this. Sure, fine. But what about the sale? Right! Uh, everything's on sale at market prices once again! Great, thanks. V, give the nice turtles the smile he wants so much. Thanks for everything, Mr. Turtles. No, thank you. Should be everything. Oh, you have a sale going on. I may as well buy some stuff. Give me some of these. At least two of them. We're going on life bottles. Or anything I can enhance this might as well. This as well. So can I enhance your yeah enhance this? I have lots of mithril fragments. Might as well. Bum. Too lazy to do all this dismantling. Oh, Velcro's got six souls, so does Eleanor. Alright, not bad, not bad. Uh, I think we're good to... Are we just good to go? Yeah, so Cat's Corner. Let's just go to Taliesin. That should be all the turtles' conversations. Hopefully we didn't miss one. Ba 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 Thank you. How do I get to that cat's over there? Probably not as hard as I think it is. Or is it literally just right in front of the cathedral? No, you actually got to go up there. Got to be like a staircase. 
It's like getting up to that character card kid, which I forgot how to do. I did it before, but I don't remember. Oh, it's up here. This ladder. Let's do it. Wow, so this is Cat's Corner. I'd never have guessed a place like this existed. <laughs> what an adorable little hamlet. You can feel your motivation to get stuff done just floating away. And look at all the cats. That's it. It's so peaceful here. Kind of makes me want to sit down for a big feast. Look, over there. Is that the cat's pajamas? I've heard stories. <laughs> oh no! Velvet, don't tell me you're... Are you allergic to cats? That's why I didn't want to come here. Are you gonna be okay, Velvet? Of course, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Velvet. Oh my goodness, so much dialogue. Also, I hate this music! What's unique about your dialect? Sorry, I have no idea what you just said. I said, this fried shrimp is amazing. Cool, huh? Wow. So how do you say brother in your dialect? Mjör. Sister? Mjör. Mother? Mjör. They all sound the same to me. Can cats where you're from tell the difference? Of course. It's all about the nuance. I think it's a bit too much to wrap my head around. Oh, yeah. What about father? Father is father. Huh? That one's normal. No insulting. No, that it is easy when you you know. I'm sorry. I forgive you. That's very kind of you. But the proper way to apologize in Nyagoya dialect is What on earth? <laughs> I hate everything. Oh, this one's having like some kind of musical. The pop pro wrestling BNA World Catnip Cup Tabbyweight title matches tonight, meow. The rules are simple. The contestants need each other with their paws. The first to make a sound loses or meows out. So, is there like a countdown or something? Yup. A per count starts when one fighter starts purring. Purr for three seconds and you're out, meow. Are there any illegal moves? Grabbing the back of the neck and nibbling are both forbidden and incur heavy penalties. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to try it myself. There's going to be an Anything Goes division in the next Agarte Cup. Any race can participate. Just put on a pair of cat ears and you're in, meow. Also, oh, Dark Turtles? Oh, Velvet. Uh, Dark Turtles, we must have missed a step. Sliding? No, thank you. If Dark Turtles isn't here, we must have missed something. I've got fervor for adventure. I travel the world to reclaim hidden treasures, meow. Doesn't that just make you a cat burglar? Big words coming from a pirate, meow. You guys pilfer and pillage anything you can get your paws on. You prattle on about how romantic your life on the sea is, but you're just a bunch of ruffians. I... I'm sorry. Good. As long as you know where we stand, meow. I've got my own ship, and wait till you hear what I named it. It'll make your whiskers spin. I call her Von Meowtia of my youth. I hate everything. Get me out of here as soon as possible. Alright, two more dialogues, then we have to go find a way to do that side quest. Oh, this is where you can just watch us uh, cutscenes and stuff. Alright. These are movies. This will show me skits we missed. Oh, we're missing a white turtle. This might be a white turtle or, or a side quest skit we're missing. We're missing a couple of side quest skit. Obviously, we got all the main skits. Missing a few etc. skits. Alright, we're not missing that much of the etc. skits. At least it doesn't look like we are.
Actually, do I need to, like, come to Taliesin every time I want to come here? Take me to, I think it's Empyrean's throne. I think it's the Empyrean's throne on Hyrule's supposed to get it. There's a part of the side quest we missed doing. We did Norman Factions. I think we did Edna's reply in Dear Brother. Because we had to do that for White Turtles versus Laffy set, which we just did. It's telling me Empyrean's Throne has a lost cat, and that's gonna tell me, hey, White Turtles is in Cat's Corner. There it is. All the way over there. It's been a while since I've done Dark Turtles. I forgot how it works. After this, we're definitely doing Heavenly Steps, because all that's left to do after this is Heavenly Steps, then Jude and Mila, and getting all the remaining skits. There are some in Titania, specifically, I want to go watch. And the Low and Grim quest, we have to go do that, but that shouldn't take very long. So, Heavenly Steps. It's really going to depend on Heavenly Steps on how long today's stream is. Heavenly Steps is going to make up the bulk of it. I'm going to tell you right now, though, the Malevolence parts... I'm probably gonna do lower difficulties for them because the timer, the malevolence timers are very annoying and I might get fed up with them. Heavenly Steps is one of the worst post-game dungeons.